Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we will use the integrated AI pathfinding system to find the best way to our destination and make it visible for us. Like this. So let's go. The first thing that we need is the AI itself. So right click, blueprint class, character and let's call this AI sphere. Open this up. This gets some sphere component just to make it visible. Let's go to the event graph. We can delete everything except for the begin play event. And also we need a variable called target. This will be a target point object reference and be sure that it's public. First, we need the reference to self. We take out the target point as well. And we need the AI move to function. Self is the pawn and the target actor is the target. Compile and save this. Now we go to the character movement and we will change the max acceleration to 900,000. You can copy this for the max walk speed. As well, we have to change the walkable floor angle to 90, the ground friction to 500 and we can uncheck this one here and check the ignore base rotation to true. That's it. Compile and save this. Let's place our AI into the world. Let's say this corner here. As well, we search for the target point and place it into the world here. Open up the details of our AI here and we can select our target point. The next thing that we need is the nav mesh bounce volume. Let's place it into the world. Go to the top view because we make this over the whole map here. So the volume has to be the same size of the map and when you press P, you can see now it is over the whole map and clarify the navigation here. So when we now hit play, the AI moved to its target and it does it so fast that you can't even see it. The next step is to make it visible which part the AI actually took. For this we will use these street parts here. I already prepared one. So we have for example this straight street part here, just a static mesh. And I also add up this box collision here. This is just the nav trigger. So when the AI moved to the street part it recognized this one here. Also we have this plane component. When I go to the details and make this visible, you can see it's just some plan with a green texture. So let's make this invisible so we can change this later. As well, we have this nav block. This is also a box collision on each side of the road so that the AI can't move to the sidewalk only on the streets. So let's select the nav trigger here, the box collision, go down here on begin overlap. So we just want to cast to our AI sphere here. We take out the plan here and want to set the visibility to true. And that's it, so we make it visible. Also I have different street parts, so let's copy this functionality. We have also this crossroad, same system, so we have the nav trigger as well. And we have four nav blocks so that the AI can't move on these sidewalks here. And we just copy and paste the functionality inside here, as well for the T-cross here, like this one. To understand how the AI calculates this path, let's go to the project settings and type in cast. You have the draw polygon casts. And when we now go to the level, every part of the level has its own cast. So the AI will calculate the less amount of casts it took to the destination. So that the AI don't go straight to the destination, we have to make obstacles. For this, let's open up our road again. We have our nav block collisions here. We have our navigation tab where we can select the area class and let's select the obstacle. And check the dynamic obstacle to true. Also, we will do this for the other parts of the streets like this one as well here like this one. When we now go back to the level, you can see these red areas here where it shows that the cost is much higher than the other parts. So the AI will avoid these parts here. So every time I move this target point, the AI will find his best way to get to the destination like this. 
Of course, you can always optimize the AI by modifying the character movement. For example, the max step height you can put to 10 or the ground friction to 1000. Also, you should remove the three object that you don't get any collision problems. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know and yeah, goodbye.